Now, Russia's first lunar mission in nearly 50 years has ended in failure after its spacecraft crashed into the moon. The unmanned Lunar 25 module was supposed to land at the south pole of the moon, but experienced problems as it moved into pre-landing orbit. Our correspondent, Will Vernon, has that story. Russia's first mission to the moon for almost 50 years. Luna 25 blasted off on the 11th of August. Hopes were high that Russia would be the first country to land on the South Pole of the Moon. But today, the Russian space agency broke the bad news. Luna 25 had been lost. In a statement, Roscosmos said the craft ceased to exist as a result of a collision with the surface of the Moon. This is a humiliating blow for Moscow. Russia had hoped that this mission would re-establish it as one of the world leaders in space travel. But Russia's space industry has been in decline for years, partly because of Western sanctions, but also because for the Kremlin, the priority is the military and not civilian space programs. The war in Ukraine has led to isolation. After Russia's full-scale invasion last year, international agreements on space were torn up. You cannot buy uh, certain electronics um, unless you have uh, worldwide cooperation. And if the uh, uh, developers of the spacecraft work in isolation, even if they have 20 years like they had uh, with the Luna Globe and Luna 25, um, it's still uh, not enough. And India is in the race now too. Chandrayaan-3 is due to touch down on the moon on Wednesday. If India succeeds, that will be another blow to Russia's reputation in space. Will Vernon, BBC News, Moscow.